Gamers, in the previous episode we automated iron production, but now it's time to automate wood production with a brand new facility, the lumber mill. We'll need to set up the tree chopping machines, the main building with the sorting and storage, along with the log stripping system too. First up, we of course need to find a location to build our new lumber mill. I'm looking for an area relatively flat, as we're going to need a lot of space. So let's have a quick scout around for some potential uh, locations. Okay, after spending some time surveying the surrounding landscape, I've decided on uh, this spot right here. It's already pretty nice and flat around uh, yonder. And uh, yeah, I just generally like that spot. I don't know, it just looks nice. So now with our location sorted out, it's time to uh, go back home and uh, sort out another few things before we can, uh, you know, actually start building. Okay, so our tree farms are gonna be pretty specialized and they're gonna need a lot of something called super glue here. And to make this, we need slime balls and uh, just iron. Uh, that's easy enough, thanks to the previous episode. But slime balls would be pretty annoying if it wasn't thanks to this crafting recipe right here where we can make it with dough and lime dye. And to make dough, we need to get wheat flour. And to get wheat flour, we can actually make a mill and put wheat in it and we get wheat flour. All right, and there we go. Now it's, uh, you know, automatically getting power thanks to this cog that's already here. And now we should be able to just chuck some wheat on top of it. And now while that's going, we can just simply right click it and, uh, you know, keep grabbing the stuff. I think something we could do to make this a little bit more user friendly is actually put a cog in here and then we could probably just move it down to here. There we go. Now we don't have to like try and freaking Michael Jordan it up and into the, uh, into the hole of the top there, you know? So now we need to make it into dough, which is simply putting it with a water bucket. But something else we can also do is wash it with a, uh, a fan and some water. So what I'm gonna do is just get rid of this lava for now. Let's go get some water from our nearby river. Chuck that in front here so that we can wash our dough and chuck that onto these depots here. And then in a second, we should get some dough. And there we go, there's all of our dough. And so for the final step, all I now needed was some lime dye. And thankfully I found this recipe here where all we need is ferns, so I went fern hunting as I hadn't seen any nearby deserts for cactuses. Once I had harvested a bunch, I chucked them into the mill, combined them with some white dye that I got from bone mill, and we now had lime dye. I then combined it with our dough and made slime balls. Next, I went outside to find a trader selling cactuses, so I bought it for renewable green dye. I then got the iron needed and made the final product, super glue. Honestly, I have no idea how many we're gonna go through, but at least we have, oh Jesus, I did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah, at least we have a big stockpile here. Now, we do still need a few other things for the farms and machinery, but I'm honestly just too excited and I wanna start building, so we'll sort that out later. Now, I'm gonna grab some blocks and a saddle because I did see a horse earlier and having one would be great for travel. And uh, yeah, now let's head over to the spot. So yeah, here's all the horsies. We got a couple here and then there's some gray ones over there. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for this one. I don't know if there's a way to like, you know, find the best one, but uh, I know we need to right click on it and like tame it first. Honestly, I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just need to keep doing this until it becomes our friend. All right, I'm gonna give it two more tries. If he keeps dismounting me, then uh, this is just simply not the one. Oh, there we go. It was meant to be. Okay. Time to get off and chuck a saddle on him. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, that's so good. Look how quick that is. Usually I don't name stuff, but I feel like we should give this guy a name. So just leave some suggestions in the comments. But yeah, here we are. We're at the spot. It's time to get a little bit of landscaping done. We want to flatten off this whole area here. I just realized this guy is going to wander off and I don't think I have a lead. So I'm going to make a quick little dirt hut stable for him somewhere. And uh, man, this actually really sucks how slow this is. Considering that I have level 30 now, I might actually see if I can go make an enchanting area real quick. Um, yeah, give me a second. I'll be right back. Oh, actually, I know one good way to get some leads. Um, yeah, we've already gotten what we want from you. Sorry, mate. <laughs> see you later, idiot. Get your ass back here. You two, you little pricks. See you later. There's our leads. Yes, that's what we want. Sorry, mate. We got some leather from him too. We actually need that as well. <laughs> okay, and let's just start uh, strap this guy to the side of our base. We've got a nice spot right there. Hell yeah. And uh, now I'm going to quickly work on making some bookshelves and an enchanting, uh, whatever it's called. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but yeah, I'll figure that out. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, there's our enchanting table. Now I've decided I'm gonna put it here where my bed is, so let's actually remove all of this crap. I'm gonna whack our enchanting table right here, and then bookshelves in these spots here. And we're gonna hope and pray that that is enough, 24. That means I think we need three more bookshelves. So I'm gonna go uh, slaughter some more cows, get some more sugar cane, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, there we go. We should now have enough. Let's just add all of those in and yes, there we go. Level 30. Hell yeah. Now we just need some lapis, which we thankfully have. I'm going to make a new shovel because this one is almost busted and it's only one diamond anyway. Who cares? And uh, yeah, if you're asking why I'm doing the shovel first, it's because I want to do some excavating. Efficiency three. Oh man, that's kind of... Oh, I wanted like something higher than that. God damn it. Uh... 
<laughs> okay, maybe let's do another pickaxe instead, I reckon. Because efficiency three kind of sucks. So let's see what we get on a pickaxe instead. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Ah! Oh. Oh, that's it? Are you serious? Wow, I was hoping for at least fortune. That actually f***ing blows. Well, uh, yeah, that sucks. Now we don't have enough levels to uh, even enchant a shovel if we wanted to. So it's time to go back and uh, freaking dig with a normal shovel. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot, man. What the hell? I mean, I forgot my horse too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's our area excavated. Um, hopefully this is gonna be big enough. We're gonna need a pretty big area. So now let's figure out how we're going to lay this out. Let's mark the uh, front left corner here with some stone bricks. I think that's a good spot. This is obviously going to be the fence. And next I want to lay out the actual tree farms that are gonna be at the front of the area in, uh, you know, this area here. And so from here, we're going to dig out a circular shape. Uh, so just give me a second. Okay, so in all of these corners here, I wanna be adding some stone slabs like this. And then I think to make it look nicer, let's actually remove uh, another ring around here and we'll add some more stone in here as well god yeah just give me a second okay and there we go there's our final like tree farm shape thing so all of these spots here are going to be having saplings planted on them we need to do it in a checkered pattern because if we have four spruce saplings close together it's just not going to work but uh yeah so we're going to have six of these sections in total so we're going to have one here then one up there and then another two here and another two over there and we're going to alternate between spruce oak spruce oak spruce oak because i want spruce and oak wood i guess so i'm going to repeat this exact same design in all of those sections real quick right now. Okay, I'm just back at base and I've been making the uh, components that we need for our tree chopping machines. So we've got bearings, we've got all of our saws to chop down the trees, we've got storage things, water wheels, um, that's about it. And there's some other things we need over here, like some smart shoots. We need six of these in total and these need brass sheets and also these electron thingies. And the worst part is the deployers. We need 18 of these bad boys and each of these needs a brass hand which needs four brass sheets. And we also need to get this freaking rose quartz stuff as well because we do not have a lot and we also do not have a lot of brass. So what it is now time to do is go mining for some zinc and probably some copper as well because we're going to be needing a lot of both of those. Okay, there is a bunch of zinc down in this cave here, and uh, I've just gotten the idea that I want to try and get back up to level 30 and enchant another goddamn pickaxe in hopes that we get fortune, so that we can get heaps of zinc from it instead of just, you know, one every time. So I'm going to kill a bunch of mobs that are down here, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from base. I've got level 30. We have, uh, yes, we have three diamonds, thank God, because I got two while we were down there. Now let's make a second bloody pickaxe. There we go, and enchant this bad boy. Actually, we need lapis. There we go, and let's pray that we get fortune. Oh my, yes. Thank Christ for that. Bang. And we've got efficiency as well. That is perfect. No unbreaking, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. We'll deal with that later. But yes, that is awesome, dude. <laughs> Now it's time to head back and mine all of the zinc that we can and get, you know, uh, hopefully a bunch of it. Okay, I'm back home somehow with more zinc than copper. But uh, yeah, let's get all of this stuff smelted. Now let's go ahead and chuck our copper and zinc inside of our mixer. Give him some juice. There we go. And now our mixer is going. Okay, and now while our brass is going, I am going to need to go back to the nether because we need uh, these things, which need these things. And that needs this thing, which needs these. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go actually, yeah, get a whole bunch of redstone as well and a whole bunch more nether the quartz. So I'm going to quickly go do all of that right now. All of our brass will be done. And uh, when you see me, we'll probably hopefully have a whole bunch of these bad boys. Okay, we are now back at the lumber mill uh, work in progress. And I finally have everything I need to make it. We've got our 18 deployers. We've got our smart shoots as well. We'll be needing these. And now it's finally time to set up our first tree farm here. So the first thing I need is actually a freaking bucket of water, man. God damn it. I'm pretty sure there's water around here. Some yes, there it is. Hell yes. Okay, now with our water obtained, and let's head down into here and actually dig this out a little bit because we need to add a water wheel in here that'll be powering our machine. What we're going to do is place a single block here, then we're going to place our water wheel in here as well, and then our water bucket right here. And that way our water wheel has, uh, you know, power, thanks to the water. <laughs> and now what we can do is bring our power up by one with a shaft here, and then we'll be placing on a mechanical bearing right here. And so what this block here allows us to do is basically create giant rotating structures, uh, you know, spawning from this single point here. 
And I just realized I forgot my freaking super glue that I need to build this. Oh my god, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, now that we're back with our super glue, what it's time to do now is put this into our offhand. And what this is going to do is allow us to uh, basically super glue every single block that we place on that structure to it. I forgot my goddamn stone. Let me grab that. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing it, man. Okay, so now it is time to start building this structure. So we're going to place four stone blocks out like this. Then we're going to go up by one. On here, we're going to place a portable storage interface. Then we're going to place another couple of blocks here. And I actually did forget to mention this farm design is thanks to this YouTuber shown on screen. I forgot his name at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm showing it here. Thank you to that guy for making an awesome tutorial. Next, it is time to place four sawmills on the front here. And then we're going to be placing three deployers on the back here because we need to see this little spot here in uh set it because it is a filter we need to set it to spruce saplings bang 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 so now these will only hold spruce saplings if they pick up something else they're not gonna you know be able to pick it up and now to finish off our structure here we just simply need to place a chest on it anywhere i'm just gonna put it up here in the middle and yeah there we go that's our structure pretty much complete there now back to this thing the uh, portable storage interface basically what this will allow us to do is once the wood gets harvested and put automatically in this chest it'll actually you know probably instead get put into here and it'll connect up over to this one over here It'll go through this smart filter, which we're only going to set to allow spruce wood. Once we get some, we can do that. And then that will get sent onto our mechanical belts in the ground here. But yeah, so that's the gist of how it's going to work. Yeah, of course, it started raining as well. So now what we can do to get our uh, machine working is place some spruce saplings inside of these deployers. And the last thing simply to do is right click our bearing here and that'll turn the machine on and bang. There we go. Oh, okay. It doesn't seem to have worked. <laughs> Oh my god, man. <laughs> okay, that's just something with the super glue. For some reason, it hasn't connected everything together. And then connect that to there. That should now work, hopefully. Uh, let's try it again. Yes, there we go. You can see our deployers are automatically placing in all of the saplings. I'm not sure what happened to this gap in the ground here. Oh, it got connected there. Uh, should be right. <laughs> no, I need to fix that. It's gonna annoy me. So yeah, these deploys basically automatically place in our saplings. And I just went ahead and went back and got some bone meal. So I'm gonna show you how it's actually gonna cut down the trees. So uh, let's bone meal just around random sapling there we go and once it gets there the saw is going to cut it like so you know bang there we go and everything gets put in this thing which goes to this thing which then goes here and instead let's place a chest in here so we can see the items yeah so that's the basic idea of how our tree farms are going to operate and uh basically now what i need to do is repeat this exact same process in every section so start the time lapse right now With the tree chopping machines all done, I just went straight into creating the main building, starting off with a two block high foundation made of stone and stone bricks. After filling in the floor, I laid out all of the pillars and raised them to their correct heights with the left side being a little lower. Then it was on to adding this section here of the roof and it turned out I built it wrong. So after dismantling it and rebuilding it, it was all done. Then I added in the side roofs and the topmost roof with a nice unique shape, added some lanterns around the sides and finally added in the roof for the left building here. Okay, now with our giant lumber mill buildings all done, it's time to get up inside there and start building all of the machinery required for this lumber mill. So first up, I'm just going to add some stairs in here because this is going to be our main entrance right here. And this main building here is going to consist of our power, which is going to go up at the top, and also our main storage areas, which is going to be these item vaults. I should probably also mention that, yeah, I went ahead and made a whole bunch of machinery that we'll be needing for this, including a whole bunch of item bolts, which needed a lot of iron. I didn't actually get to make them all. That's, uh, you know, you need barrels to make them. And yeah, so this spot right here is where our two conveyor belts are going to be coming in from these four farms. And then we're going to have another two conveyor belts from these two farms coming in right here. Now, I'll explain why they're separated a little bit later on. But for now, let's just start building our item vaults. And these are going to be holding all of our sticks, apples, and uh, saplings if we ever overflow with those. And also our logs. So firstly, I want to place the log item storage vault things back here. So our spruce one is going to be there and our oak one is going to be here. Let's make these into big boys like so. And then we're going to extend this down as far as we kind of want to go here. Let's maybe just go one more. We'll line it up with that pillar. And then for our sticks and other crap, we would probably just put one in maybe here. And this one doesn't need to be quite as big. So let's just uh, maybe put it to there, I guess. Next, I'm just going to mark these out with an item frame. So this one here is going to be spruce, bang. This one, oak. And then this one's going to be our, uh, you know, just random stuff. So I'm going to put a stick in there for that. All right, now with our storage vaults in 
place, let's start working on the belts over here and getting all of this crap up over this way. So you might notice I've also changed uh, the position of these. Previously, they were over here. I've instead moved them to there just to make things a little bit uh, easier. Okay, and now because I wanted it to look kind of cool, I uh, decided on not putting the spruce on the same side and the oak on the same side. I just had to alternate it um, to make it harder for myself. So in order to fix that, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, tomfoolery. I don't know what exactly I mean by that, but uh, yeah. Okay, so there's our first oak one linked up. Now we need to link our next oak one up. And to do that, I think what we could actually do is probably extend this and then we could just put another belt here. Okay, and now as for our spruce, it's going to be a little bit more uh, painful. To, to figure out. How the f*** am I going to do this? Shit, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got it figured out. We just had to go underground here to connect these two up and then come back up over here and bang, there we go. Now we can probably cover this all back up just to uh, tidy it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now as for this part, it's going to be uh, a little tricky to figure out. Uh, so we're going to place two more belts here and then these are going to feed into some double chests. Let's place one here and then one here as well. Oh, and I just realized I need more brass funnels. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Um, give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with more of these bad boys. And we need these to uh, suck out certain items from these chests and put them into our storage. So this right side here is going to be our spruce. So let's add one on here. I'm also going to have to set up a filter here uh, for every single thing that I need to, uh, you know, add. Okay, so for our first filter here, we're just going to be wanting to allow spruce wood only. Bang, put that in there. For the next one on this chest here, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, except this time we are allowing oak wood. Now at the back here, we want Want to take out the sticks, apples, spruce saplings, and also oak saplings. We're going to put that in there. And then for this chest here, just to make things a little simpler, we're going to instead do it underneath here. And we're just going to make a quick filter of the exact same thing. And now it is time to link everything up. So from this one here, we're going to just simply go straight into the item vault here. Need one of these. There we go. And then for this one, we're just going to obviously go underneath. Yeah, that should work. There we go. So let's hook these up like so. And we're going to have these come back up over here. Here, and then go down right about here. Now this should go back up to here. Actually, we need to get rid of that. There we go. And same for this side. Bang. Hell yes. And then all we're going to do for this here is just cap off the end so it doesn't start shooting crap everywhere. And we're just going to put a funnel here that'll, uh, you know, take the items off of these. Those items being the logs, of course. We've got our oak and our spruce. Actually, oh god, I've done this wrong. This side's spruce, not oak. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, um, we're just going to simply swap them around. Just um, forget you saw anything, okay? <laughs> Let's cover up these holes back up like so, and bang, we now have a nice pathway as well, without having to worry about going over these freaking belts and crap. And I should probably sleep, eh? Oh my god, what the hell's going on there? Okay, so now that should be those two belts completely sorted. We've got our sticks and random crap going in here, and also from here as well, and then we have our logs going under here and then into their main storage areas. So yeah, that's basically this whole main area done. Now now it's time to get this area sorted. And this side's probably going to be uh, a little bit more complicated than that side because what I want to do is have these two farms coming up here and then I want to split them off. So I want half of the logs that are harvested to go over this way to get stripped and then I want the other half to go over to storage. So this time around we're of course going to be having our belts coming up here. Actually they're going to be more so in there. There we go. Okay let's have those come up like so and there we go. That's all that linked up. I of course just need to hook up these chests to this but I'll do that once they're running because I don't want all the items in there to just be uh, kind of, you know, sitting on the ground, I guess. So from here, what we're going to do is add another two of these bad boys in like that. Then we need these things, brass tunnels. So we're going to place our first two on here like so. And then we're going to need to place in another couple with some additional belts like that. And that will allow us to place on all the rest of our tunnels here. And so basically the way this works is that our two belts here are going to be feeding into these and all of the items are going to be kind of like distributed across these. So we're going to have oak, spruce, then we're going to have another oak and another spruce. And that's how we're going to be splitting our logs in half. So half is going to be going to get stripped, the other half to storage, like I explained previously. And then this one's going to be all the rest of our random crap, like the, uh, you know, sticks, apples, and saplings going off into this storage here. And so I need to, uh, oh my god. And so that means I, of course, forgot two items, the two freaking mechanical saws. Oh my god. I will, once again, be right back. Okay, I am now back with our mechanical saws. I also just went to the ocean real quick and made a whole bunch more belts because we're running low on those. And now it is time to set up our stripping station. Uh, that sounds kind of wrong, but, um, 
Yeah. <laughs> but first we do need to set up our filters real quick. So just give me a second and I'll get that done right now. And now let's get these linked up to where they need to go. But first let's place in our mechanical saws here. What the hell? Okay, there we go. So this first one here is going to be our oak. And to make things just a little bit easier, what I'm going to do here is have a chest. Have our items get taken off the belt here into the chest. Probably also put a block here so that items don't, like, you know, get sent out. And then we'll have items come out of that chest here and go across our sawmill here. So let's connect our belts up there and there. We're going to do the same on this side as well, of course. Bang. So yeah, our oak will get taken into this chest. It'll be taken out of the chest, go across this and be turned into stripped spruce logs or stripped oak logs, sorry. And then it'll go over here, down here, and then over into some, uh, what's it call it? Um, item vaults. So now our next one here is going to be our spruce. So let's bring this conveyor belt out to here. And we'll have another belt that'll go all the way over to our sawmill here, of course. Bang, there we go. And that was... That's that one pretty much done. Next, we once again have our spruce here. And we'll probably just link it all the way up over this way, like so. And we'll just have our uh, andesite funnel taking the logs off the belt and into our um, storage vault thing. Next, we once again have some more oak wood. This time, we're going to have to go probably under this vault and up over this way into the side of it here. Bang. Holy mother of God. Yes, we've done it, boys and girls. And we just need one of these. Bang. Yes, perfect. Actually, I'm probably going to leave this open because, um, yeah, I kind of forgot. We actually need to power every single belt. Oh, my God. I completely forgot we have to do that. Oh, man, this is going to be painful. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, well, let's just start. Uh, let's just keep hooking our stuff up. So here we're going to have our uh, sticks and random crap go into this vault. So I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did over here just to make things a little easier on ourselves. Put a chest and a site majigger later. And then we'll have another one here. Actually, what will probably be better is having it like that. Okay, to make this easier on ourselves, let's just extend this by one. And so we can place a belt here and here and then just do something like that. Now, that's pretty much the hard part done. We've got everything hooked up. Actually, no, the hard part is uh, powering everything. Everything. Oh my dude, I forgot about it again. <laughs> That was like five seconds ago. Oh, time to go to bed, man. Okay, the next thing we need to get hooked up is our uh, thingamalators over here to our thingamajiglets. I don't know why. I just can't think of any of the names of this crap, dude. <laughs> I have a hard enough time just trying to think of vanilla block names while I'm talking, let alone whatever the hell this is called, item vault. It's really not that hard, man. Okay, so for this, I actually want to get our fence laid out first because this is going to kind of uh, be important for this. So I'm going to go quickly grab some stone and stuff from over here and make this part of the fence real quick. Okay, so like you probably just saw, I just went ahead and, uh, you know, created the entire fence instead. We had to get around to it eventually, so might as well, you know? So next, I actually want to come in over here and remove these ones and replace them with some fence gates so we can get in and out here. Next, it's time to grab out our item vaults here, and I want to place these kind of along this fence here. So the first one, let's place it in here, and the second one over here. Now, I don't know how big I want to make these, but I am steadily running out of these blocks, so let's just uh, maybe prepare proportionally use the rest in each of these. Okay, yeah, that should be good. Those are pretty big. Next up, we need to get our belts hooked up over there. So what I'm actually do is remove this wall here and replace it with some iron bars, just so it looks a little better. And let's have our two belts here come through these. I believe it should be right there. Let's connect those up. Yes, there we go. Now, this belt here is going to be pretty simple. We're simply just going to link it up to our uh, vault right here. So one shaft, two shaft, bang belt, bang belt. Hope my uh, technical lingo is making sense to you guys here. And now for our next belt, I actually want to go one block underground here so that we can link it up to our other one over here. Yeah, actually, I think what might be better is going directly underneath this belt because we're going to need space in between those. Uh, so yeah, let me just start uh, dig out a bit of a trench here. Okay, there we go. I've just gone ahead and linked that up all the way under here, all the way over to this side. Once again, I'm going to leave this open because I need to get all of these belts powered. Oh my God, dude, stop reminding me. <laughs> and yeah, so that's pretty much all of the main machinery done. The only thing that we have left to do now is actually make a bunch of chests because obviously with these item vaults, you know, it's storing a lot of items but we can't exactly open it, you know? We can't get into the items. So we need a way to be able to, uh, you know, have a way to 
get into them, if that makes sense. And my idea is to basically have a chest in front of each of these like so. And then I wanna have a funnel that takes the items out and puts them into the chest here. We're gonna connect those up with some belts as well, of course, like this. And basically having it set up this way means that, um, you know, it's gonna be pulling out items, going across the belt and into the chest. And so once this chest actually gets completely full, the belt will stop and it won't like, you know, just keep spitting out items because the belt is gonna be full. That's basically the idea behind this. So instead of just having, you know, like a funnel and then a chute here and then the chest, it's going to keep just continuously pulling out items. And we don't want that. We want it to be kind of stopping once the chests are actually full. So there we go. We've done it for our oak. We've done it for our spruce. Let's do it for the old sticks and uh, other various items here, just like that. And now the last ones we have to do it for is of course the ones we just built over here. And so now with those hooked up, I think a nice little extra decoration to add would be, uh, oh God, I've uh, kind of misaligned this. What the hell? Okay, we might actually be able to extend these by one more. There we go. Now we can do what I had planned, which is adding some little trapdoor kind of accents to the sides of these. I don't know, just makes it look like it's, uh, I don't know, like a shipping crate or something. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing, man. It just looks cool. Shut up. God, can I get up here? Fuck. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, there we go. Yeah, no, just looks like a... I, I don't know. Once again, I don't know how to explain it. All right, and yeah, so that pretty much marks the completion of uh, basically everything, except for the power, of course. So it's time to add our water wheels into the top area here. I'm gonna have to fill in a floor here and extend these walls down a little bit, and then we can finally add our water wheels in there. So just give me a second. I'm gonna add that floor in, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, there we go. There's our upstairs area all completed. Next, it's time to, of course, just start adding in our water wheels here. Now, I only have four of these because all we need to do is just pretty much power all of the belts that are there and then the two mechanical saws as well so yeah we probably only really need like one or two of these but i'm just adding four because yeah the belts i don't think they actually use any like you know of the power that these generate so we should be fine in that regard uh, hopefully now, actually that water isn't even going down there because of this roof let's just keep adding our water wheels in here and there is our last one all done okay and now with all of our other power situation things we're gonna have to do some gear ratio stuff someone did mention you can use something called a a, uh, what is it? Rotational speed controller? Yeah, that's the one. Instead of having to do this gear ratio stuff, but honestly, this... Uh, this looks way too complicated for me. Like, I have no idea what's going on here. And there's an 80% chance it works. It's not even a freaking guaranteed one, man. So I'd rather just, uh, you know, slap a couple of cogs down like an idiot. Yeah, I think that's the speed we're wanting. Okay. Okay, there we go. We have our power output here. I've run out of shafts, so I'm gonna have to go mine a bunch of andesite and get some more iron as well so that I can make some more shafts. So once again, I will be right back. All right, gamers, I'm back. I've got a bunch of crap now. Holy oh, mother of God, I'm sick of doing this trip back and forth. My plan eventually is to actually set up a kind of train system network that'll go between my base and here and any other... What the hell? Dude, why is that... Are you serious? Oh my, that is the most annoying thing. Dude. Well, I didn't really think of that, eh? Oh, they do disappear. Okay, sweet. We're in the green. Never mind. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, I want to set up a train system that goes between here and my base. I want it to pick up the logs and deploy them at my base, but honestly, I have no idea how trains work, so that's something I need to learn first. But for now, honestly, my horse is he's worth his bloody weight in gold at the moment. He's making this trip so much quicker and easier. But yeah, now it is time to pretty much spread this, uh, you know, rod of power. That's probably the worst way I could have explained it. <laughs> to everything in this freaking area. All of these belts, everything needs to be powered and it's going to be an absolute painus in the anus. Oh my god, there's a little demon under here. What the hell? Get the hell out of here, buddy. So yeah, just to give you guys a taste of the crap I'm going to have to endure, I'll show you uh, maybe a, a little bit of powering this. So first, let's get our uh, thingamajig here. And thankfully, that's spinning the right way. So yeah, another pain of this is, uh, you know, getting everything spinning the right way because now that's spinning the wrong way. But at least we have a bunch of these gearboxes that we can use to simply and easily invert the uh, direction, you know? So there we go. Those belts are spinning the right way. Let's branch this off into this belt. There we go. There's that one powered. Now, now this one, that's the wrong way, of course. Okay, bang. Now we can power all of these by doing that. Yes, look at that, dude. That's so good. Well, yeah, I think that's uh, a good enough taste of uh, the pain that I have to endure. Um, I'm gonna probably just do this as a time lapse so you guys don't have to feel my pain. Uh, let's get started. So continuing on, I hooked up all the belts under the floor and then went outside to power all the belts out here too. Once that was all done, I linked up the belts on the other side and also the ones for the log stripping area that'll transport the stripped logs to their respective item vaults. 
Oh, all right, and there we go. There's everything powered, everything's linked up and working perfectly. Hell yeah. As you can see, there's some stuff coming in. Bang, bang, off it goes. But yeah, all of the chests are filling up nicely. We've got sticks and apples in here. We've got our spruce wood in here and then our oak wood in here as well. Heading outside here. Oh my Jesus Christ. We should have our stripped logs and our stripped logs. Yes, dude. Everything is working perfectly. That is so good, dude. Hell yeah. So that marks the completion of all of the machines stuff. We've got our tree harvesters, we've got the entire like sorting system in here and the storage done. All that's left to do now is add some walls onto our main structure here. I don't know exactly what kind of style I wanted. I was originally going to leave these open but I feel like it just looks a little bit strange so I might go for maybe like a barn style of a wall. I do also want to add a pathway that links up these stairs to our fence gates over there. So yeah I'm just going to get all of that stuff done as a real quick time lapse starting right now. Starting off with the pathway, I simply excavated a trail and filled it in with stone slabs. Then it was onto the barn style walls I was talking about, so I filled in every wall with some fences and fence gates along with this nice arch design. Now with the walls finished, I made our saws look a little bit nicer by adding some logs around them. Okay, and there we go, there's all of the final details added into the building. And now just before I close off this episode, there's one more thing I want to get done real quick. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, we're back at home because the last thing I want to quickly get done is enchant some of my tools, okay? First up is going to be the shovel, and I really like what I see there. Efficiency 4, okay? No unbreaking, which does kind of suck. Let's see what we could get on our sword. That is atrocious, okay? We're not enchanting that. What about the axe? Efficiency 4, we'll take it. I don't know where the unbreaking is gone on everything. It's just gone. <laughs> But yeah, we're back down to level 29 now, meaning we can't enchant anything else. So yeah, that just about marks the end of this episode. If you want to download this entire build for yourself, along with every other build I've built in this series so far, be sure to head over to my Patreon for the build downloads. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.